Alright, so here's a quick video that might help some of you guys that own Mustangs. This is an 05 to I think 09 Mustang. It may apply for some other ones, but I'm pretty sure it's 05 to 09. This one specific is an 05 uh, six, uh, 4.0 liter V6, uh, so your regular Mustang. Um, and I'm working on the ball joints. If you guys don't know what the ball joints are, it's this joint right here. Uh, it basically connects your knuckle and your control arm together and it flexes. It's a ball joint. Um, the problem that these cars are having, I mean, considering their age, they're starting to go out and wear out. Mine was making a pretty bad knocking sound on the passenger side, so I decided to replace it. But upon doing so, I realized that this might be a factory one-piece ball joint and control arm. Uh, and that's actually the biggest argument right now. Uh, so I decided to just buy the ball joint. I bought a Moog ball joint. But later, on doing some research, I found out it may not be that simple as just replacing the ball joint. Um, on the forums, it said mixed answers that you can, some that you can't. So I decided to call Ford. Ford said it's not doable, just replace the whole control arm. Uh, I also called Napa. Napa, however, said we do sell the ball joints and they are serviceable. You can do it. Uh, I bought the ball joint. Um, I then called AutoZone and O'Reilly's. They, however, said it was not a good idea and not. Oh, there goes my plate of dinner. I mean, breakfast. Should have probably put it away. Um, they said not to do it. It wasn't a good idea, and from what they knew, is not meant to be taken out. However, I had already bought the ball joint, and I decided to go for it. And I also actually bought the control arm just in case. The control arm is right here. I bought a Moog. Either way, I decided to just give it a shot and go for it. Uh, I decided to just take the whole control arm in the event that it wasn't doable. So I have it out. Uh, and I'm using this very cool snap-on press that my friend lent me. Uh, he's a mechanic and he can afford tools like so. I can't. Um, fortunately to, he was fortunately to let me borrow it. Uh, so I'm using it. And the way this ball joint is supposed to be taken out is you're supposed to press it down. And, it's, and the ball joint itself is supposed to come out this way. So it's supposed to go down. That's why I have this weird setup. Um, basically, it was just too long the stud, so that's why I have this weird setup. Now, what I found out is something completely different from what I've been reading. Um, the ball joint itself does not have a snap ring at all. It actually, the lip of the end of the ball joint, the lip, flares out all around and it kind of hooks to the control arm um, as you can see here's the lip and it's flared out now as you can see I also kind of ruined this side because this slipped on me and it just squashed this end uh, which clearly made it visible that it has a flared lip um, with that being said, my verdict here is, I don't think it's doable. It's, I don't think it's meant to be serviceable. Um, I've been going at it for at least an hour now, and it's really kicking my ass. This is not the first ball joint I've done before, so it's not something new to me. Um, but with seeing this, I, I'm just going to throw in the towel, given that I already do have the other control arm right there. Uh, because I come to the conclusion, this this ball joints are not meant to are not meant to be taken out. Um, I mean, there's no other way that I can explain this lip other than this. It has like a hook, which is a, um, a flare. Picture a bubble flare, kind of like that. Um, so I'm giving up on this one. I wish I could take it off, but I'm not sure where I left the seven eight. Um, but you guys get the idea. Uh, in the meantime, this might be the more expensive route.
However, in the long run, this is the cheaper run because you are getting a new ball joint and it comes with brand new bushing. The bushings on the old one are actually pretty dry. I'm not going to move it. I just take my word for it. They're pretty dry. So they are probably soon to follow and it's an 11 year part so might as well just replace it. Um, oh man, I got a bubble. Wonder. Ignore that, but I, I just found out I got a bubble right here. Anyways, uh, something that was actually very difficult to do was to take the ball joint out of the knuckle. And I've seen some people try to hammer a screwdriver in here and whatnot after they take the, the pinch bolt out. But what I found out really easy to do and very simple was to lent I mean to borrow this tool from AutoZone this is a uh, ball joint separator uh, it's an OEM brand uh, the brand is OEM I think it's 27083 don't take my word for it but it's a ball joint separator basically what you do you hook it on the boot side and then this side is gonna press the stud down are going to tighten it and it's just going to press it down. Um, this tool made it extremely simple and really easy to take out so I do recommend doing this. I also did it for the tie rod as you can see you can put it under just kind of hammer it in a little and then the top one is just going to press on the stud and then press it down and it's going to break it apart. Uh, there's some videos if you guys are wondering how to use this tool actually really simple and really really easy and simple to use but yeah as you can see I also need tie rods I got broken broken boots and I mean they're they're old so I, I am gonna be replacing the control arms the tie rods and also the struts as you can see I'm working on the passenger side right now uh, luckily for me the sway bar links were in pretty good condition. Uh, these are actually, I think they're F4. No, they're four. Uh, either an upgrade or stock ones, I don't know, but they look almost brand new. So, um, I'm assuming the previous owner before me replaced them. But either way, those look pretty good, so I lucked out on that. Uh, back to the control arm. The ball joints are just not serviceable if you ask me. Um, hopefully this video helps some, some, some of you guys. I don't think it's worth uh, all that trouble to replace that ball joint. Um, I've been out here an hour. Now I have the luxury to spend that time because I have nothing to do today. I don't work. This is my day, my day off. Some of you guys don't don't have that luxury to spend the, the whole day if you guys wanted to. Um, and as you can see I also have another vehicle that's my 09 Eclipse GT uh, so this car can sit here for days if I really if I really messed it up some of you guys don't have the luxury with that being said don't bother with the ball joint my personal opinion um, some people have been lucky and have been able to take it out I wasn't and I don't see how other people were uh, my opinion is uh, maybe they bought a vehicle they had aftermarket control arms uh, I'm thinking that's probably the case because these there's no way without breaking that lip it acts like a snap ring on its own with that being said hopefully this helps somebody uh, just change the whole controller it's a lot easier less of a headache